then I thought to myself, what if hypnosis was just somebody giving you a suggestion and then you acting upon it as if it is real? And that's exactly what it is. The power of suggestion to get yourselves to go in the direction of your goals or not. To go towards what you want or not. So hypnosis, and I want you to really get this because some of you, I told you the uh, definition last night. You said, what does hypnosis feel like? And hypnosis, when you get hypnotized, whether up here today or tonight, this is it. You will still be aware. You just don't care. Now somebody last night said, well, is that like drinking? <laughs> yes, exactly. But there's more benefits to coming up here and getting hypnotized because you don't have the hangover. In fact, one hour of hypnosis feels like eight to 10 hours of sleep. Ooh, yes. And two, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to give anybody that gets hypnotized here today a suggestion to help you achieve any goal that you wish. And more importantly, it's just a suggestion to help you feel good so you perform like the champion you are. The subconscious, here's the analogy, is a GPS navigational system. That's exactly what it is. So it's like a genie that allows you to program in any want, any desire, and then it says, I accept, now let's go to work. So the voice of your GPS, your subconscious, get this, are your feelings. Well, uh, earlier this afternoon I had my doubts, so I wanted to try to free myself and allow to just let life take over and it was the most amazing feeling. It's a beautiful thing. I laughed, I cried, I felt good, the emotions, the feelings, it just helped teach me that feelings really drive my future. And he's an amazing man. That was a beautiful thing and I greatly appreciate the opportunity to be part, part of what just took place. The memories will last forever. Thank you so much. What's the challenge? What's the problem then in regards to getting what you want? If your GPS lets you go there, guides you when you set it, when you've got your destination, the challenge is this, is that you got a lot of stuff programmed into your GPS that isn't good. A lot of the first hypnotists or programmers were your parents, teachers, peers, you name it, and a lot of those self-limiting beliefs will come up and say, you're not on course, change your belief, you don't feel good, you're stressed. So again, it's learning how to control how you feel through the suggestions that you give yourself. So when you're feeling really, really, really good, it's an indicator from your subconscious that you're on course and you're moving in the direction that you want to go. And when you're feeling really, really, really bad, let's call it stress. How many of you ever had a bad day? Okay, we all have. So the stress is something that is a perception to an event, meaning that you interpret a particular event. It's not the event in and of itself. Two people could see the same event, but one person gets a lot of stress and another person just gets excitement. So it's how they perceive it. So how you think, how you perceive something, then will determine how you feel. And how you feel always lets you know if you're on course or off course. So if there's one thing that you get from this presentation, it's this. When you learn how to control your feelings and you feel better and you focus on things that make you feel better, you will start to get more of what you want and your GPS guides you to get it. And the next step is the P in GPS, which is pretending. Now pretending is a word that kids, we use with kids all the time, and it means make believe. But if you look at the word pretend and intend, before you get your intention, you have to pretend it. You have to make believe that it's happening. And when you're continually picturing, imagining, dreaming, visualizing, you're pretending, you're already there. And the most interesting thing happens. The people, places, things, events, opportunities show up as if by magic, which is cool. Because what I've realized when dealing with a lot of organizations and individuals, that people are stressed out and they need to deal with the stress. And the stress is your signal, your sign, that you are not harmonically programmed. You are not connected to what you want. You disbelieve it. And that's a sign, and you may not hear it from anybody else than the way that I'm talking about it right now, is that your feeling is telling you that you're not aligned to who you really are. And all you have to do is pick a better feeling thought, notice it, and then you go in that direction. You perform better, and you start to attract more. So you already have a tool to do that. When anything comes up, think of your favorite color, put your hand to your heart, and feel great. Fabulous. I haven't laughed that hard, that well, for a long time. Uh, book them. <laughs>